welcome to the show today. We are gonna be going through the workout named Fight Gone Bad, which was created to emulate what it feels like to go through a UFC fight. And on the show today, we've got the class boss himself, Julian Marquez. He's gonna be going against Mark Harley, and then the big man himself, Brendan Shop. Oh, Former UFC Rain fighter. In Salt Lake? Nope, it's Dang. Mike Wong. That's a teardrop right there. I'm gonna be judging Brendan, and to motivate him, I'm gonna be counting with dollar bills. For every rep that he does, I'm gonna put a dollar into this, and give it to him at the end of the show. Oh wow. Well, that's your motivation wow. today. We're gonna hit up trails after this. <laughs> Here we go. You say money. Three, two, one, go. Three, up, up. Three, try and go a little deeper on that, yep. Deeper. Yeah, there you go, that's it, yeah, there you go. That's it. Oh, that's what? These guys have never fought before. Look how crazy they're going. This guy's all jokes on round one, yep. Yeah, round three's gonna be dicey. But dude, round one, you're just feeling the guy out. We have a game plan. All right, we're gonna keep filming this, but for yeah. right now, we'll roll Drop the that cash. I'm the thickest stripper in Salt Lake. Back. We're still in round one. He's still just hitting wall balls. I don't know what he's got, but he's got this stack of cash right here. Okay, shoulders are burning. It's just like a fire. Hands up. Yeah, there you go. If you ever want to step into the octagon, you need to be prepared to crush your opponent for five minutes on, one minute of rest, and at least three rounds. That's what CrossFit had in mind when they designed this workout for BJ Penn back in the day. After completing this workout, he described it as a fight gone bad. This then became a benchmark workout for the CrossFit community that many people repeated to test their level of fitness. And then it took another iteration of becoming the workout that the community latched onto as a fundraising event. Millions have been donated to various charities as a result. Well, we're hoping at the end of this, Brendan might donate his cash to something as well. There you go. Oh my. Man, that's textbook right there. Brendan fought in the UFC for six years with 15 professional fights. So he's got some experience of what it's like to step into the octagon. Tell me what a fight is like. Fights in general, unless your main event are three five minute rounds. If your main event, it's five five minute rounds. It's too long to do anything. Yep. Use your hips. Use your hips to send that up. There you go. And a fight, depending on how it goes, I mean, I've had some that are really quick where you train for 12 weeks and you're in phenomenal shape and you knock the guy out in 50 seconds. And you're happy because you're not hurt. You're getting, you know, your full pay. But you're also like, I didn't get to show all my hard work. And I've had times where I'm in the best shape of my life, like my Ben Rothwell fight or Big Nog fight where you're in Brazil and you get knocked out in the first round, you know? So those are the, I would say the easy ones. Whether you win or lose, those are the easy ones. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Woo! Yeah. All right, so now they get a minute rest. Let's go see how this fight's going. All right, how are we doing in there? All right. Yeah, you feel a little, a little winded? A little winded. Yeah, taking some body shots? Some body shots. I think I lost that first round. <laughs> We're just feeling it out. All know? right, yeah, you're feeling it out. I feel like I took a shot to the nuts. That first round shot to the nuts got him a solid $75. But let's skip ahead a little bit. After Brendan and the crew finished this workout, Marsden and I wanted to take it on. But so that we could continue on with this charitable concept of giving money away, we called up a friend in need. All right, everybody, this is my one of my longest and oldest friends, Chris Jones. I started CrossFit back in 2009, and you were one of the guys that came to the gym with me. Yep, from the beginning. Let's get after it. Try to Ooh. light the fire. Let's do bro. this. I'm ready to roll. I'm not warmed you know? up at all. <laughs> Maybe we should go watch. Give them them minutes, dog. <laughs> guys, our thighs out, right? The handsomest lip. Oh. Sell your soul, baby. Sell your soul. Let's go. There you go. One. Two. Oh, 
you were coming to the gym with me regularly back in like 2009. What happened after that? Uh, I got married, went back to school, got my master's degree, got my CPA, had a family, four kids. Bye. You have a family of six, but that's not all you're providing for. Yeah, helping with my grandma. My grandma's gotten sick lately. So I work from her house to help her out, to kind of keep an eye on her. So we're living with my in-laws, all the families in one room, because that's all we could do. It's been ugly, but we're getting through it. To help him out today, we are also going to give him one dollar for every rep that he completes. And where do you feel physically now? A lot weaker. really see where your training comes into play there so it's all about like controlling really your heart rate and like when to explode when not to explode over over 15 minutes how are we feeling the third round everyone's gonna be tired you know so it's just about being less tired than the other guy <sighs> this is why they don't have heavyweight fights at high elevation anymore <laughs> I felt it this morning it's so dry yeah the dryness and, like, the for worst sure headache. Yeah. I'm like, good. You get like bloody nose boogers too. Yeah. Come back. All right, 10 seconds. Let's get to a four ball. After two rounds for Chris, he's earned a solid $160. Brendan collected another 65 that round, totaling out to 140. With one more round to go, how much can they make? Go. Two. Like a sleep factor the night before a fight. Yeah, I used to always worry about that because the anxiety of when you fight, like sleep, super important. They brought in these Navy SEALs to talk to us. The Navy SEAL was like, the night before the fight, your sleep really doesn't matter. It's the, it's the two days before that is going to add value to the Saturday fight. Now they might just be full of shit, <laughs> trying to make sure, like, don't worry, guys. But you know. Oh. Oh. So you can run, you can run sprints, do wall balls, some of the stuff we're gonna do today. Nothing will emulate the fight. The, the only way to get like in fight shape is by fighting. It's a lot worse than remember. And I was giving my max effort, like uh, you know, like I was because we're talking about replicating a fight. Is yeah. like when we see fighters in the end, they're like kind of tired and like as the spectator, you're like, come on, like just hit him. You're like, no, 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 this is the best they got. Like <clears throat> you know. My boy finishes off. He cleared me out. I got 201 total reps today. That's more money than I made in the UFC. Where you at, Dana White? Come and get some, bro. That was way harder than I remember. I haven't done that workout since we all worked at CrossFit together. Honestly, I'm thinking like 2011, 2012. I was a much different person. That was a fight. That was a fight. I think you won, too. I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tallying up the scores. The olden days, man. The originals. Oh, Miko Sela. Don't lay on the ground after a workout. Don't die. Don't give up. When an animal quits, it lays on its back to give up. So he said he never got on his back after a workout. So for years, it was very cool to not lay on your back. But then I kept giving it too much. And this was the only proper position to find myself at after a workout, looking up at the ceiling, head full of endorphins, questioning why I do this stuff, and also why would I not? This is what I was looking forward to. Yeah. Being done with it, having that I need to lay down feeling. Yeah. And then slowly yeah. turning into euphoria. Shout out to the whoops. Wow, we're gonna go over this workout, Fight Gone Bad. I was a 9.9 .9 strain, and I think it was round two where I really hit my peak. Dude, I was a 9.1 strain, and you oh. can see here at the beginning of my workout, my heart rate was through the roof yeah, at was. a max heart rate of 179, Fish and I could water. not recover after yeah, that. Yeah, right here, right here. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Who's it gonna be? If you use code Pancakes, you can join that team. You can use that same code to get 15% off of a whoop. Shout out to the Butter Gang. We got Bethany. Ch Julian, just put that name right here. Cho Julie. Chokan. Cahoon. Cahoon. Uh, she is out of uh, Australia. She's a five day data streak, but she's been a member since 2012. She is at the top of the most slept this week. So thanks to what Brendan said about sleep earlier, that's what I'm thinking about. She got 100%. That concludes the whip of the we out.
Hang on, Bethany though, just slide in my DMs and we'll hook you up with, with the new whoop strap. Hopefully we can get that figured out by now. Yeah, shake it, twerk it, get it. So we got Brendan with 201 reps. And then we got in second place, Mark with 332 reps. Woo! Oh wow! And then Julian, three reps ahead at 335. Whoa! Got him my three reps. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> It's tough. I paced myself way too much, and then I didn't want to take all your guys' money, so I just wanted to, you know, I, okay. I didn't want to, you know, you guys are so generous, I don't want to take too much money. Okay, yeah. You think you beat me? Not with the way you're looking. He's got a giant smile. It doesn't look like no, a man no. that lost. I'm just a happy guy. You know, I'm stoked even if my boys do beat me, you know? My boy over here, put in some work. This is your first time ever doing Fight Gone Bad? At least what I can remember, yeah. Okay, well you just came out with $228. 228, baby. That's some solid movement. Thank you. Some solid work. 324 reps. Woo! Jeez, that's pretty good. It's better than I thought. Yeah. Jules, Jules got it. After three rounds, a total of 342 oh! reps. See? Yes, let's good go. Good work. Yeah, took let's the win, go. Right? One game win streak. Brendan's rich, so he's like, we're, I'm not gonna take the money, so we're gonna give Brendan's winnings to Chris. So, Chris, so he's going home with $429. 429. 429. Thank you, guys. You might as well call him a pro Thank athlete. You, yeah. Put that towards your gym membership, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Thank you, guys. I, I, put, I suggest put it towards your gym membership and maybe some sitters yeah. to get you in here more. Yeah, I agree. Love seeing you in the gym, brother. Thank you. Yeah. It's been so a pleasure. Good take work. that journey. Love you, Love you too. It's a pleasure. So if you guys want to go do this, go do Fight Gone Bad. Let us know what your score is. We got something to give them, right? Yeah, if you post about it this week on social media, we will pick one of those people that you have to tag us and tag Krieger Backpacks. One of y'all is getting a new, brand new backpack from Krieger. Best bag on the market. market. Yeah. Said. I'll say it. I'll say it again. Ooh. Hey, good on you. Yeah, good on you. Yeah, nice good to meet you. Nice good to good know you. Ah, we should we go beam? All right, that's the end of the show, but we're gonna get it kicked off with some beam. Yeah, make sure your spicy dreams are loaded with pumpkin spice. Yeah, we're beam. still in pumpkin spice season. There you go. All right, okay. you got a giveaway? We, okay, we for last something. week, we said one random comment is going to get a hydro and salt from Podium, so. Stop now. I absolutely love Emma and cannot wait to see how well she does at Rogue. This is Ivana. Ivana, I hope you can see this and that you can, you know, slide in my DMs on Instagram. We'll see if we can hook you up with some hydro and salt. Do you Vana some hydro and salt? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. What did they get on this show? Uh, we're going to give away a Krieger backpack. So make a comment down below and we're going to send you a, a fresh new bag. Best bag on the market. Yep. One random comment down below. And also, if you do fight on bad and you post about it on social media, tagging us and Krieger, we're going to pick up one of those people as well. So that's two winners this week on this week's show. Fight gone good. Yeah, it's about right. Cheers. Cheers. A piece.